With this research, we wanted to demonstrate the potential and the capacity of technology in order to support medical staff and surgeons in particular in view of improving patient safety and the usability of checklists. We're going to go ahead and do a timeout. Next, uh, this patient is Mohamed Martinez. Next, he's having an umbilical hernia repair with mesh. Next, He's in a supine position. Next. This is the operative site, the umbilicus. Next. The consent has been completed. It is accurate and has been signed by both patient and myself. This is typically the type of project that we conduct here at the design lab. We start with a problem that we identify in the field and then we try to find solutions in order to address this problem and then we evaluate these solutions all along with end users, in this project, surgeons. As a next step, we are going to present this project to hospitals and clinic and see how it could be better implemented. We have an implant for the mesh, next. Antibiotics were given, yes, at 9 a.m., next. The surgical safety checklist was implemented in 2008 by the WHO. Uh, its goal has been to implement it around the world, and it has, they have, we have been very successful about doing that. This has saved thousands of lives around the world when properly used before an operative procedure. It actually reduces morbidity and reduces mortality up to 35, even 40% uh, after an operative procedure when implemented correctly. The challenge that we have had is to actually, even though it's a standardized way, the usability that the, the checklist has had hasn't been standardized, hasn't been the same around the world. So by means of utilizing such an electronic uh, surgical safety checklist, we can actually tailor it and with very low resources, very low cost, bring it pretty much to any operative theater around the world hopefully uh, getting those results that we have uh, intended for a number of years uh, as led by the WHO. At MBRU Design Lab, we try to innovate at the point of care. And this is one of uh, a number of different innovations that will be low cost and that can transform the way we practice medicine in a positive way.